What's up, Joe? What's up, everybody? This is Jeff Fennell, and this is a Sports 360 Quick Take. Coming out of the last weekend of October, folk in the sports world are mad. First, we go to baseball, where Brody Van Wagenen, former head of CAA's baseball division and one of the most powerful agents in the game, was named as the new general manager of the New York Mets. Reactions from the baseball world have been swift and passionate. The Players Union and its players are concerned about confidentiality, concerned of, about the things Van Wagenen learned about his former player clients while he was an agent that he now carries with him into his new role as GM. Agents are chiming in too, effectively calling Van Wagenen's move a betrayal while adding that they had been offered and turned down management offers in the past. For their part, management officials and media members have offered their opinions as well, most of them negative toward Van Wagenen and his decision. But here's my take. People need to take a breath and calm down. Does Van Wagenen's move carry significant issues? No question about it. The issues of confidentiality, player trust, Van Wagenen's dealings with his former clients and former agent rivals, and how those dealings will affect things going forward are all real. But we've been here before. In 2004, Jeff Morad was one of the most prominent agents in baseball when he left the agent business to, to become CEO of the Arizona Diamondbacks. The union, Morad, and the players were able to work through those naughty issues then, and there's no reason the same cannot happen now. The union has a top-notch legal staff and an executive director in Tony Clark, who is a former player and very sensitive to the issues raised by the Van Wagenen situation. In more recent times, Dave Stewart left the agent business to become general manager of the Diamondbacks. He's now back on the agent side of the table. It happens. And not only in baseball. In the NBA, Rob Palenka was a prominent agent when he joined the Lakers as GM back in 2017. Palenka represented at one time or another Kobe Bryant, James Harden, Andre Iguodala, Derek Fisher, Eric Gordon, and others. Somehow, the NBA survived his switch. Similarly, baseball will survive Van Wagenen's move. So there's no need for agents, media folks, or others to channel their inner chicken little because the sky is not falling. In football, sports books and fantasy sports operators were hot at Todd Gurley's decision to forego a sure touchdown late in the Rams' victory over Aaron Rodgers and the Packers on Sunday. In case you missed it, Gurley's Rams were up 29-27 to with about a minute to go in the game when Gurley took a pitch at Green Bay's 21-yard line. He quickly found himself in the clear, but instead of going in for a short touchdown, he allowed himself to be tackled at the 4-yard line. The Rams then took a knee on the ensuing play, ending the game. So why are folk mad at Gurley? Well, the Rams were favored to win the game by seven and a half points. A girly score, an extra point, would have put the Rams up by nine. Because 91% of the bets were on the Packers to cover the spread, sports books were livid that Gurley chose not to score. Moreover, if he had scored, he would have earned over six additional fantasy points. All across the land, toy NFL GMs were no doubt crying the blues because their fantasy team could have used those extra points. Gurley's reaction to all this, he said, and I quote, man, forget fantasy and forget Vegas. We got the win. So that's all that matters. Imagine that. A football player makes a smart play to help his team win the game, and sports books and fantasy sports aficionados are upset. But this points out a more serious issue, and that's the anger of betters who lose money because of a player's actual or perceived play on the field. 
it's one of the main concerns that players associations have about legalized sports betting. It's all about player safety. And for that matter, the same goes for game officials who make a bad call that alters the outcome of a game that affects whether the spread is covered or not. This is not a new issue, of course, but it is one that is heightened given the recent advent of legalized sports betting. Lastly, in this weekend of people getting mad, the president of the United States, Donald Trump, found time to tweet about L.A. Dodgers manager Dave Roberts removing pitcher Rich Hill after six dominant innings in game four of the World Series. Now, to be sure, the move was curious. On that score, the president was right. But given the horrific violence across America in recent days, the president's venting on Twitter on this subject was more than a bit out of place. Imagine that. That's it for me. I'm Jeff Fennell, and this has been a Sports 360 Quick Take. <laughs>